Hello, Courtney Thompson. Uh, we had this nice game with the hashtag Ask Courtney Thompson. Now you will answer all the questions the people asked you. Yes, um, <coughs> I'm ready. Are you ready? We are. Ready. Okay. So first of all, the people want to know about your movie, your documentary about Courtney and Sparks. Uh, can you tell us something about this? Why? Yeah, well, in the U.S., uh, we don't have any professional leagues, and so uh, for us, we have to obviously go overseas to make a living. And um, at home, not many people understand kind of what that means or what our life is like overseas. And so I was just the example. It's not really my story, um, but it's an example of uh, a player on our national team and how we train in California, and then we go overseas for, you know, seven or eight months and um, just kind of to show people what volleyball, international volleyball is like in the U.S. because we don't see it too much. Okay, and the people asked, what is the worst and the best here in, in Switzerland or living here in Europe and play here? Ooh, and good question. Um, the best thing, there's a lot of good things in Switzerland. I really like the mountains, so I love, I love going there and obviously they're beautiful, some of the most pretty uh, beautiful ones in the world. Um, the hardest thing would be being away from friends and family, which isn't much knock on Switzerland, it's just how it is uh, living you know, away from home. And how, how is it? Do we eat cheese a lot also? Hey, cheese, chocolate, bread, coffee, I got no problem with any of those, so it's great. So you're real Swiss now? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm learning, I'm almost, almost. Now we've got another question about before the game, the pre-game. Yeah. Uh, do you've got a favorite song to listen to before the game? Ooh, good question. Um, you know, I usually listen to like, uh, it's kind of weird, slow stuff, like musicals, like Phantom of the Opera or Les Mis or something. But my best, one of my good friends, uh, Crystal Morrison, she plays on the AVP. She just sent me a song, uh, Sing Loud by Alpha Rev. It's kind of like a fun, upbeat, gets me in a good mood, I like it. So I've been listening to that all tournament. Oh, great. So we have got also a little tip, a hint for the uh, followers here. Um, and how is it your biggest inspiration for the volleyball on the court? My biggest inspiration? Um, I find inspiration in a lot of different places. I think uh, I look up to a lot of players um, in all sports, really, and try to learn from everyone You know, that's trying to be great at what they do. But my biggest inspiration is my, my family and my brothers, probably. They fire me up all the time, no matter, no matter where I am or what I'm doing. Um, yeah, they always fire me up. Are you interested in other sports too, like football, American oh, yeah. football? I, I'm a huge uh, NFL fan. I'm kind of a nerd about it. I watch every game on Sundays that I can when I'm overseas in Europe, and uh, I watch it on my computer all day. And um, I love the NFL. Yeah, go Seahawks! We won the Super Bowl this year, so it's great. Oh, so great! And now another question about the Neon Friday you've got in the team. Yeah. The people want to know how did you come up with this, this uh, idea? Yeah, well, we like to have fun. You know, we work really hard, but we also want to enjoy this. So we started Cut Off Friday last year, mm -hmm. where we we cut off some shirts and we'd all go sleeveless on Fridays, and it was just kind of a fun thing to bring some extra energy. And it turned into Neon Friday, so we look like we're from the '80s or whatever. Um, it's just a fun, another fun way to mix it up and bring some energy in the gym on a late in the week. And now another question is, uh, you know volleyball really good. Um, how is it for you? What does Switzerland need to be a volleyball nation like the US? Well, I mean, that's a good question. They have a professional league and we don't, so they got that going for them. And I feel like the Swiss, what I know of Switzerland is that they're really smart and if they want to do something, they'll do it. So I, I think probably if they wanted to you know, build their national team program um, up and up and up, um, they will. And um, I think they're on a good start. You know, some of my teammates, Unti and Enos, are playing there now. I played with them, Valero, and they're great young players. And so it's there's no magic. It just takes a lot of work, a lot of hours in the gym. And what, for you, is the biggest difference of volleyball here and volleyball, volleyball in the U.S.? I mean, like tactical or other stuff. Uh, is there a difference or is it almost the same? The fans are a little different. Yeah? I would say it's a little... Uh, in general, it's a little quieter here. People are a little more respectful in Switzerland, you know. Um, in the U.S., it's pretty loud, and there's lots of chanting and, and cheering and, and that kind of thing. Um, and technically, yeah, I don't know. I mean, a lot of clubs play different volleyball. You know, we our national team plays a little faster than most people, so I'd say that's a little different. And now, uh, the last but not least question: How is it for you now? You will play together with Natalie. Yeah. Uh, for Valero, yeah. is it cool to have another American in the it's club? It's awesome, yeah. Um, I had, a, I had a, a ton of fun last year and a, a bunch of great teammates, but it is nice to have an American, a little taste of home when you're so far and uh, someone that you can speak to 
freely and they understand everything you say. So uh, yeah, and she's a great player. Um, she's got a ton of energy, so she's really fun for me to play with and uh, we're excited. And will you bring the American way of life to Zurich? We're gonna try, yeah, I try to bring that anywhere, you know, bring some energy, have fun and work hard. Okay, so thanks a lot yeah. and see ya. Yeah, thanks guys, keep them coming, hashtag Thompson.